at making your life ultimately less technology centered. You know, the, if you do a really good job of this, you won't think about all the devices in your house that have microprocessors in them because they'll basically fade into the background. But fading into the background is exactly what privacy advocate Catherine Albrecht is worried about. Albrecht's consumer organization Caspian is waging a campaign to educate the public about RFID technology. RFID is radio frequency identification. It consists of a tiny silicon computer chip and an antenna that a remote reader can scan and send to a database. RFID is the backbone of the Internet of Things, and it's already big business. For example, Walmart now requires all suppliers to use it to track its products. And the U.S. military uses it to follow supplies around the world. You've literally got some of the biggest corporations on the globe investing hundreds of millions of dollars already in the infrastructure to make every physical object on Earth trackable. And then you've got the public who really has no idea that this technology is coming. This tiny tube contains 150 RFID computer chips. Their size means companies or the government can easily hide them. Each chip can give a unique serial number to every product. And then, its antenna helps remote scanners read the RFID tags, even through materials like fabric and plastic. Right now, everywhere in the United States, it is perfectly legal for a company to place an RFID tag, say, in, in your shoe, sandwich it between the layers of your shoes. Uh, we've seen prototypes of those at trade shows. Sell that pair of shoes to you and use it as a tracking device. Albrecht, the ACLU, and other civil liberties groups want a public assessment of the technology. But so far, they've found few friends in Washington. Although Bove calls the technology neutral and is quick to praise the benefits, he agrees that consumers need safeguards. For Albrecht, a first step would be labeling all RFID products. When you really envision a world in which every physical object can be numbered and tracked, a physical world in which people can be numbered and tracked, in which RFID implants can be put into individuals, or maybe even in babies at birth, and, and every move that we make can be identified and logged in a computer database, you begin to raise some very frightening questions, I think, about power. Such discussions are only beginning in Washington, but a full-fledged debate may need to take place in the very near future. Both predicts the Internet of Things is coming to you.